Here we are, 10-5, part 2. We're going to be talking about lines that are tangent um, to the circle. And it's only going to be tangent if it's also perpendicular to the radius. So we're going to be using uh, perpendicular um, tangents to a circle to solve problems. So here we say uh, that we're finding the value of x. All right. In all these cases, we're always going to be getting right triangles. So in this case, since we know it's, tan it's tangent, that's going to be a right angle. We have a right triangle. If we're looking at our picture, though, we're missing something. 9 is only this segment here. So we need the whole side. So we need to fill in 8 here. Those are my radius measurements. So uh, I'm going to redraw this triangle. So I have x, I have 8, and I have 17, 9 plus 8. I'm going to set up Pythagorean theorem. x squared plus 8 squared equals 17 squared. If you know your Pythagorean triples, you know that x will equal 15. Um, go ahead and solve that on your own with a calculator just to double check. Um, but that's how you do uh, that version. The next version to me is the, is the trickiest. Okay. Once again, we look here. We know it's going to be a right triangle there. Okay. We're going to fill in the missing radius like we always do, except now the hypotenuse is x. How do we do it? Well, we're going to come back out here. We're going to go 15 squared plus 36 squared. And I'm just going to put C squared for the hypotenuse. Because 15 plus X squared is going to get messy. What I'm going to find here is that C is going to equal 39. I also know that X plus 15 equals C, as we can look at the hypotenuse in the other triangle. X plus 15 equals 39. Subtract 15 from both sides. X equals 24. I would say that would be the most challenging one out of these types of problems. If you get a hypotenuse where you're adding things, just set your equation equal to C, and then make the two C's equal to each other. Okay, our last type of problem here is now we, uh, once again, are going to fill in the radius, which is 9 there. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm thinking of the last problem. Radius is 21. So what we're going to do is we're going to add 21 plus 8. I'm going to redraw my triangle over here. Yes, it's a right angle. This will be 21 plus 8, which is 29. This will be 21. This will be x. x squared plus 21 squared equals 29 squared. And when we solve this out, it's going to be another triple. However, I don't have this triple memorized. So I'm going to quick do it in my calculator. So we have um, 21 squared, which equals 441. 29 squared, which equals 841 minus 441. X will equal 20. OK. Remember, if you guys have any questions, um, please let us know. Hope you guys have a great day.